Okay, so my mutual Rick posted this on Twitter. He said, question of the day, what's the worst lead single of all time? And only one song came to mind. Me by Taylor Swift featuring Brendan Urie of Panic at the Disco. For the kind of artist that Taylor Swift is for what she's released previously, we having hits like Love Story, We Are Never Getting Back Together, Blank Space, Those Moments, Reputation. You guys know how I feel about Reputation. And so we arrive at this and, you know, I saw her documentary. She was having a little bit of fun making the song, but I don't know why someone didn't sit her down and say, we're not releasing this as a lead single, because if you wanted to release this as the fourth or fifth single for the album, maybe I would get it. If you want to release this for a little kitty soundtrack, okay, fine. But as the lead for this to represent the album, in your opinion, for this to kickstart an era, and this is what you gave. I don't get it to this day, to this day. And I agree with people who say that if other pop artists release this and their career would be over, it would be down the toilet. But because Taylor Swift has built such a good, you know, will with the general public for the most part and her fan base, they let it slide. But I mean, the song is just very elementary in terms of, you know, the lyrics, the lyrical sentiment, you know, there is no one else like you. I get it. I can appreciate it from that standpoint. The song, however, yeah, she even got bullied into taking the Hey Kids spelling is fun line out. Um, They should have bullied her into pretending the song was never released. And then she should have released the real hit single, Cruel Summer. We got it years later. We still have a music video. And I think she was going to release it during the era and then the pandemic. But you could have gave me that or pretty much any single song on this album instead of this. Like, I just don't get it. The feature from him, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. But I just, yeah, I, I don't. It's not representative of the album. It's not representative of the album, you know? I think maybe she was just trying to go so hard into, you know, this light kind of moment because reputation was so dark in terms of the aesthetics, in terms of some of the subject matter. So she was really trying to lighten it up. But I think that this was overkill. Cruel Summer would have worked perfectly fine, in my opinion. Music video was also a chop. And I think that... Taylor Swift just I think she had direction in that music video at some point I think Taylor Swift should stop being involved in directing her music videos as I said before and having involvement in that way it's a chop and we've seen it over and over again I think the only time she really ate was like cardigan but besides that throw it away and so yeah this song overall it was a chop I mean her fans even try to convince themselves that it was for the secret life of pet soundtrack that's how much they did not want this to be the lead single that's how much they were trying to look away from the reality of what we got so that's kind of why I'm saying this is worst lead single of all time for what Taylor Swift has given us as a songwriter from that standpoint, in terms of the hits that she's given us from the standpoint, in terms of replay value as well. And in terms of lead singles, this is obviously her worst lead single, like I said, worst lead single all time. And I'm so glad that Folklore, she finally got serious and released Cardigan because she had to come back from this disaster. And then she followed that up with Willow Forevermore. Anti-hero, don't get me started on that. It's definitely better than the song. But yeah, that is my pick for worst lead single of all time. I wanted to say that this is not even my least favorite song on the album. That's definitely going to I Think He Knows. And there's some other Taylor Swift songs that I would say are worse than this. Like Vigilante Shit, Most of the Reputation album, some songs from debut. You know, there's parts of the song I can enjoy. I don't really listen to it. It doesn't have the repo value. And yeah, it has to be one of her worst songs objectively though. And that's just me being honest. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Comments, you know you couldn't have it be the worst lead single in the sense that it didn't really represent the album for you you think that they should have went for something different because you think that it would have been more successful and you think it's more representative or it's just like the song sucks so that's why it's there this if it's both so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments i'm sure Swifties will be dragging me but it's my opinion and most y'all probably agree anyways y'all just don't want to say it but yeah let's continue that conversation in the comments